what did you learn from the Kauffman Foundation State of Entrepreneurship uh, address last week? I'll share with you uh, some of the things that I learned in a moment. Well, the, uh, the keywords obviously are uh, State of Entrepreneurship Address and Kauffman Foundation. By the way, uh, with those keywords, and uh, I, I highly recommend that you go to the Kauffman Foundation website, K A U F F M A N dot org, uh, and you will be able to get, I'm sure, a copy of the State of uh, Entrepreneurship Address uh, there, or if you Google uh, State of Entrepreneurship Address like I did uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, you'll get all the information that you possibly need. What I learned when I, I was at last year's uh, uh, State uh, of uh, Entrepreneurship Address, and uh, I didn't know last year, so one of the things I learned this year that last year's uh, address was delivered by Carl Schramm, uh, the now retired uh, CEO of the Kauffman Foundation. And uh, I had a chance to uh, thank Carl for uh, his, his wonderful presentation. Thanks for his invitation to come to Washington in the first place. Uh, and, and also, um, uh, he introduced last year a book that the Kauffman Foundation had funded, uh, Rules for Growth, Promoting Innovation and Growth Through Legal Reform. And that was the beginning uh, of the theme which carried on uh, into this year. And this year's address was delivered by, uh, since they are now searching, the Kauffman Foundation is now searching uh, for a CEO, the um, interim CEO is a gentleman by the name of uh, Benno Schmidt, uh, who was on the board, uh, did I read he was on the board uh, of the Kauffman Foundation. The theme was that in order for entrepreneurship to have a successful future, it's extremely important that, and then the Kauffman Foundation uh, points it out with research uh, year after year, uh, the book Rules for Growth, that the states uh, have to be given uh, more power than they are given because that's where businesses start. They start within states. And uh, that theme was carried over this year. And um, Mr. Schmidt uh, talked about the, the, the legal issues, how, how legal has to more strength has to be given to the legal systems within a state, uh, as well as the educational systems uh, in, in a state. And as we all know, uh, education truly uh, is the future of entrepreneurship uh, in this country. And we want to do anything that we can to <laughs> protect the future uh, of entrepreneurship. So it was... Um, it was a, a very interesting carry-on kind of discussion, uh, not a major, major announcement uh, as such because they're, they're looking for a CEO. I'm sure a major announcement is, uh, is, uh, is, is, in, is in the works. But one thing that was um, uh, said in the, uh, in the address, I wanted to quote directly. The largest, the, the, the biggest economic payoff excuse me, from the formation of new firms comes when some fraction of them grow ideally as rapidly as possible, consistent with achieving sustained profitability. Uh, remarkably, the top 1% of growing firms of all ages account for 40% of net new jobs created in any given year, and it goes on. The reason... Uh, that I quoted this is because we are seeing very clearly now that there are not enough new jobs are being created quickly enough to compensate uh, for all the layoffs that there were, have been in the last uh, five to current, five years, four years, three years. Uh, the, the folks who have been laid off, small businesses 
have not been hiring back as quickly as they laid off. Why? And it's a simple reason why. Or actually, I believe there's two reasons why they uh, that hasn't happened. Uh, number one, uh, they found new uh, productivity in the employees who were not laid off. So they were decreasing the costs of their business and increasing the profitability of their business because they found more productivity. Uh, simple, simple fact. So they're not going to hire back as quickly as they have in the past or as quickly as they laid off for sure. And, and, and a second reason, and, and this is one that uh, we're still, we still come to grips with uh, as small business owners. The cost of health care uh, is, is obviously out of control. And uh, as the legislation now sits, uh, in the year, well, in January of 2014, uh, if your small business employs 50 or more folks, you will have to provide mandated, mandated uh, health insurance. Mandates means costs uh, of items, and uh, it's it's going to be a, 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 a vicious problem uh, in 2014. Uh, and uh, I know folks are at work uh, right now, and, and I've seen some, uh, read about some ideas, and once again, going back to the Kauffman Foundation position, the power has to be given back to the states uh, so that they can properly administer programs such as health care, education, the legal system. Uh, so we need to create jobs right now. And job number one is always created when a business is started. That's the first job. Uh, the most important job. And in our community, uh, we have tried to make it as simple a process as possible to start a business, particularly an online business. Uh, we've done it. We continually uh, do it. Uh, uh, we, we create uh, a, a new online endeavors every week. Every week we come up with something new in the community. So it's um, uh, the time to, to act is now. We need to create as many jobs as we possibly can and the jobs come new jobs come from new businesses being created and they will always always be the best source of, of new jobs new job creation a, a new business come back again and, and we will share a, a, another aspect uh, of what it takes to, to help start businesses, uh, guide them, uh, mentor them. Uh, our country desperately needs thousands of new businesses started right now.